much, uh, Angela, for inviting me and for your congratulations. Uh, um, let me first uh, address our uh, colleagues from Ukraine uh, and let me tell you guys that I fully sympathize with your position. Um, given my expertise, I should have been more aware of what you are going through in uh, Eastern Ukraine ever since the beginning of 2014. Uh, I see here uh, Serhi Gerasimchuk, whom I met at the end of 2013. I was actually there when uh, the Euromaidan started. And uh, really, I sympathize with what you are going through from many viewpoints. I know that some of your experiences I, I cannot empathize with uh, fully because I'm not going through. But uh, um, we are doing here as much as we can to support you. And um, when it comes to academia, um, I'm um, in the, I'm still uh, working at the National University for Poli Political and Administrative Studies. And I can assure you that uh, my university, as well as all universities in Romania I know of, expressed very sharp and clear position of uh, supporting Ukraine, support, supporting the, the sovereignty of Ukraine, um, and condemned the uh, war, the attack coming from the Russian Federation. Um, and um, certainly we conveyed this to our students, we discussed with our students. It was not easy in the beginning because the atmosphere was, you know, we don't know what is going on. I mean, it's a, a war in Europe after so many decades of, uh, of peace. Uh, and um, uh, we are struggling to convince our Western uh, European partners uh, of the fact that uh, it is very important that they uh, continue and uh, uh, deepen their uh, support uh, for Ukraine. It's not easy because, you know, when you are in Western Europe, you think, you know, Eastern Europe I mean, Ukraine is far away. Uh, well, it's not that far away when it comes to war. Uh, and in the end, as I wrote in 2017, we were already in the war without acknowledging it. Um, now it's so obvious that uh, I, nobody can, uh, can deny it. I'm not sure, however, um, about the, the real perception in real terms. I mean, like uh, this war being felt that it's a European uh, war, because uh, I think if, if we look at what the Russian Federation is doing, I think that uh, it's an attack on Europe. And, uh, and we know that your president and your officials uh, talked about that. Now, apart from discussing with students, we, we have, um, no, we organized a number of, uh, I don't know, uh, debates and uh, the, our academics are involved in mass media. Uh, my dean, my colleagues are invited on a permanent basis on, on TV, on radio to write, uh, um, articles to interpret what is going on. So we are active on this front, obviously on what uh, um, Alina Matis was mentioning, you know, this uh, debunking the propaganda. Uh, but we know that uh, Russian Federation is, uh, uh, is a strong uh, opponent. And uh, unless we acknowledge that, despite of its weaknesses, um, I think we might uh, make wrong choices. So I think we need to acknowledge both strengths and weaknesses and maybe cooperate more in identifying these strengths and weaknesses. Um, 
Now, when it comes to civil society and our support, of course, we support it as my university. I will just give you my, the example of my university, how we supported the refugees coming from Ukraine. We welcome them uh, and we, we open our, uh, um, the premises for our students. We offer them to the refugees. We had uh, most of the time uh, uh, over 200 uh, refugees hosted in our uh, um, student accommodation places. Uh, we supported students. We even supported in the very beginning the students who were studying in Ukraine, like uh, Indian students and uh, so on and so forth, but many women with children. Uh, um, and yeah, you know, we, and I have to say that this, this was part of an effort coming from civil society in the very beginning. The Romanian people were fantastic. I, 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 it really uh, raised my uh, own uh, perception of the, of the value of the, um, of the, humanity in the Romanian people, I have to say. And uh, I heard something really touching that uh, some of the Ukrainian refugees uh, thought that Romanians were angels. Uh, but um, yeah, we need to be more than emotional. We need to be, you know, uh, very well, uh, um, you know, grounded in realities and um, cooperate as much as possible on many levels uh, of civil society, academia, think tanks, um, associations, NGOs, so on and so forth. And uh, uh, just let me uh, signal you uh, an initiative that we started uh, in uh, my university, San Espea, in, uh, um, in actually in March, 2020, uh, right before the pandemic started, uh, I initiated with uh, some colleagues of mine and with the support of our university and of the Black Sea Trust um, for regional cooperation, a uh, regional network of women experts in international relations. Uh, because uh, um, we know that uh, women are undervalued, underrepresented in the public space and un undervalued their expertise. Uh, now, the fact that uh, uh, Angela Gramada uh, is, uh, is the, the leader of ESGA shows, and we know the history of ESGA, I really praised uh, her uh, enterprise and her uh, uh, think tank. Uh, and there are many women who have expertise. So we started this, uh, with what we call uh, the um, Eastern and Southeastern uh, European Fennel Network. So FANEL, you know, uh, it's a panel um, composed by women only, as opposed to MANELS, which is all male uh, panels. And we know that in the public space, there are many all male or there are maybe just token women. So I think that um, there are many, many women who are experts and uh, the network we created shows it. Uh, maybe I should write the, the address in the chat so you can visit our website. And we have colleagues from Ukraine. Um, so it's, it's sorry, just a second, not to mistake the, the address. No, yes. Uh, so if you visit this website, you will see that there are, uh, we have uh, colleagues from Ukraine. I will mention only a few of them. Um, Hannah Shellest, who is also in the board involved. Um, Evgenia Gaber, uh, Maria Zolkina. So we, we strengthened on this side, uh, the connection with the, uh, with uh, Ukrainian uh, expertise, and we are very happy to extend the, the network. Um, I think this is a good way of, because uh, to a certain extent, I think that uh, women uh, may have some perspectives that men are missing. Uh, and, uh, we are plan we are we organized uh, monthly events uh, discussions like uh, uh, online uh, debates on various topics 
In one of them, uh, we had uh, invited uh, uh, Ms. Mr. Rose Gottemoller, who used to be the Deputy Secretary General of NATO. Uh, we had representatives from our presidency, so on and so forth, ambassadors. We, we collaborated very well and we had uh, as guests uh, the ambassador of France here, who is uh, uh, Madame uh, uh, Ower. Um, from the presidency, the presidential councillor, uh, Mrs. Luminica Odobescu. So we are very proud of all the events we organized. And I think we can contribute to, uh, to a better understanding of situation and to a better coordination of actions. And we are planning in the fall, and I'm going to end with this uh, announcement, uh, uh, my speech, we are planning to have a, a debate on, uh, on the situation uh, of the war at that point. So in, in September, and we are going to have obviously a panel, but males uh, are invited to participate in the audience. Uh, so we will consult in order to, with our partners in Ukraine and uh, and in the countries involved, the Republic of Moldova was very much involved in, uh, and, and with, with uh, our Polish co uh, colleagues as well. Thank you for your attention.